Me again. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome there out there in Julian. My name is Justin Zartan. What you are watching is real. I may or may not mean to insult you. Most everything I, you see, I own or have stolen from some yard gnome. So let's get started out there. This is the man of the sea. He is a, uh, a club exclusive. So with it being uh, quite a ways off, the year was uh, 2003. G.I. Joe uh, was uh, upon its 20th anniversary. What I was going to start, mm, water from the earth. What I was wanting to show off was the uh, uh, an exclusive pack for their 20th anniversary brought to you by uh, Toy Fair and uh, The Wizard, which is a, uh, uh, a company that price, uh, prices um, comic books and toys and other things like that, and it's brought to you by Hasbro. Uh, back in 2003, there was the G.I. Joe brand, uh, was also known as G.I. Joe, the Real American Hero, versus Cobra. I had two of these sets. I do not know what happened to the second one. I looked all over for it. And like I said, it was brought to you by Toy Fair and Wizard. It's uh, a set of uh, apparently the two of the greatest relationship figures. Even though if you watch the comic book, Scarlet liked Duke, didn't like Snake Eyes, but in the comic books, uh, Snake Eyes and Scarlet were a big item. Um, I'll give you a little rundown on the set. I was going to have a, uh, I can't find it, my second set. I looked around online to see how much uh, the set did. Uh, there was a couple for sale, high in price. All right. We'll see the first figure. As you can see, is Snake Eyes. On my reviews, I am trying to uh, more detail for people out there. Um, I'm going to spit my cookie out. Mm, Oreo cookies and water from the earth. Two great things. Snake eyes. As you can see, it looks like a plain version of snake eyes. He got his uh, web gear painted. His uh, grenades painted green. He's wearing, it looks like he has a sword. He has uh, some explosives, a backpack, and a uh, machine gun. The, uh, this version of Snake Eyes is the 15th version of Snake Eyes. Uh, according to the uh, last time I checked, there was 68 versions. I'm sure the number has gone up because the uh, 68th version was 2014. It had another couple sets. Um, this version of Snake Eyes is a remake of number uh, 7. It's also a mold of number one. The things that make different from the uh, number seven and number one is that the uh, waist is originally used on robot number three. The first version of Snake Eyes had him as a just a uh, commando. Did not have him as, or a ranger. Did not have him with a sword. Of any sort or a backpack, which brought it up, me to think that the uh, store that he uses it was never used on him, it was not used on the uh, second version of Snake Eyes. The first time the sword ever, ever really showed up was the third version of Snake Eyes. Bang, this guy here, and the sword. It's right here. It looks like it has a, uh, a slightly curved, um, slightly curved hole, uh, four holes in it. Uh, looks kind of like a 
dragon's talon, but it would be weird. Yeah, or not dragon's talon. Yeah, a, a bird talon holding onto a ball with a wrapped keel and it colored in silver. The uh, the machine gun or Uzi that he's holding first shows up with Law and Order number four. The uh, I didn't I looked through my stuff could not find the uh, my Law and Order number four. I can't remember you know, if I have one. Might have sold it. The backpack that he has first shows up. Oh, the backpack right there first shows up with uh, Gung Ho number three. So uh, Hasbro does have uh, a habit of uh, reusing their uh, their um, things a lot, which is all right. You know, why make up a new uh item if you could reuse it on another figure. The first version of Snake Eyes, he never uh, came with, all he came with was with a uh, simple Uzi and a satchel of explosives. Another thing going by. Hmm. Kind of get noisy out here. Uh, the explosives uh, first showed up with him. The set of the explosives that he comes with was first showed up with him. He's the first figure back in 1982. As I said again, the 15th version of Snake Eyes, remake from number 7, except for the waist, which is re-added. Both 7 and uh, the 15th version are, uh, are uh, molded after the first version of Snake Eyes. Um, Alright, Scarlet in this one was known as Agent Scarlet number 3. There uh, is a total of... Uh, what is it? Um, uh, 16 versions of Scarlet. Over, uh, you know, 16. But that's only Scarlet. There was three versions of Agent Scarlet, which is this one here. Her mold is a remake of Scarlet number three, which was also used on Scarlet number one and uh, one and one half. Um... The heads on both only turn left and right. Uh, the whole mo uh, mold also was used on uh, Scout number four. The crossbow that she has was only used with her. The swords, which she comes with two swords, were first used on Storm Shadow number six. The backpack that she has was a Cobra officer's backpack. Find my like point open for ya. Silly cats. It was a Cobra Officer's backpack, and that was Cobra Officer number, I believe, number three. Um, as I said, there is only th uh, three versions of uh, Agent Scarlet, this being one, back in uh, 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 2000. Two is when Agent Scarlet first showed up. They were calling Scarlet Agent Scarlet for some odd reason, which is kind of, uh, if I uh, remember correct, I uh, they did not have the copyrights for just Scarlet, so they called her Agent Scarlet. Scarlet did not come with any swords on her first version. She only came with a uh, like a crossbow. As far as I can tell from all the pictures, she did not. You have a backpack. So, 15th version of Snake Eyes, 3rd version of Scarlet number 3, Scar Agent Scarlet number 3, the remold of, of her was uh, the complete mold, there's no alternate packs, there's no, uh, uh, there's no added stuff like on the crotch piece, like as, in, uh, as in Snake Eyes. So, Agent Scarlet was used on... Uh, first version, but she had straight arms and a thing. One and one half, that's when the first swivel uh, arms came in. Then she uh, was used again on uh, version number three, which uh, was uh, 
just a recolor of uh, her, but her uh, suit was darker than it is here. And uh, head only turns left and right. The uh, file cards show a more current versions of them. They, as you can see, the pitch would be like uh, Snake Eyes number two, but he bigger guns. He has the visor and a Agent Scarlet right there. As you can see, it says Agent Scarlet, Snake Eyes. They give the, uh, for as far as I've known, every time they go to talk about Snake Eyes, everything about him is classified. His file name, his social security number, most of his background. Uh, if you remember, you know, when the car books first came out, uh, they didn't even really mention that he was a uh, uh, ninja of any sorts until like issue 2021. Um, I'm trying to do uh, more detailed uh, reviews. I wish I did know where my second set was. I gotta pull it out and show them, but it seems like it's a very limited set. It, uh, the box is, uh, is in really pretty good condition for a 20th anniversary, and I had it in storage. On the J.O. Joe Collector's front, here is the uh, newest guide from uh, March. We are now on April 1st, so the, that one should be coming in soon. I looked through this for this con uh, year's convention set. They're going back to the uh, older set. It's not uh, an adventure team. It's the Painted Head figure. It's going to be the Green Bay with two uh, Green Bray figures. One's going to have... Uh, like a, like a different colored paint head, machine gun, or M16 bazooka rounds. Uh, the uh, the bazooka is going to really shoot. In this one, they have a story about uh, um, J uh, the Judge of Renegades, or it wasn't the Renegades. It was the uh, I forgot my main brain messed up. Um, Iron Claw is the uh, story in this one. It shows up uh, talking about uh, Roadblock or not Roadblock, uh, Rock and Roll, who is this uh, this uh, year's figure. The and it also talks about uh, the convention sets, which is going to be Python Patrol and Slaughter's Marauders. But they don't go by Slaughter's Marauders. They're uh, uh, Sergeant Slaughter's not in the set, which sucks. It is, seems to be Sergeant Smasher, which exactly is uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Just uh, they changed the style uh, of uh, outfit totally and put in Sergeant Smasher. I do not think they have the rights to use Sergeant Slaughter anymore. I could find out more on it. They talk about the As Seen on TV Joes, which are black and white, because back in 1964 when G.I. Joes first came out, uh, a lot of the TVs were black and white, and so when you first saw G.I. Joe on TV, you did not see him in color, you saw him in black and white, so that is the... Uh, 12-inch uh, figure for the club this year and then they also had more um, more figures for that set they're coming out with the TV they're called the G.I. Joe black and white TV editions this year's figure for the uh, is the action soldier but they also have uh, action marine action uh, uh, sailor and action pilot you get you are, if you are a 12 inch uh, member of the club, this year you are going to get the action soldier in black and white. And that wraps up this edition of uh, G.I. Joe. I wish I did know where the second set was. I could have gotten into more detail, could have pulled them out a little bit. All right, see you around.